Hey everyone, it's Pussy at IcoGames.com here, and today we're at Cool Science uh, Cool Science Day in Colorado Springs, or the Springs as we like to call it. And there, it, this is by a really cool organization. You can probably guess the name. It's Cool Science, and they were at the Stemosphere last year. It was really really cool, and we wanted to come back out here and support them again. And there'll be a link in the doobly doo to where you can check out some of their really cool stuff. So we're gonna go see a couple of demonstrations. Um, we'll do as many as we can, and we'll show a few of them to you. So we're in the little Cheyenne Mountain Zoo area. It's actually pretty small. There's some, for some reason, a lot of people miss it, but um, I just like animals must go touch. It's super cool. Um, I like one of my favorite things at conventions is a lot of conventions have like a little animal display. So I always love going and hanging out and looking at some of the animals. Alright, so um, they have a tortoise on the ground, and it's really really cool. Um, she's a star tortoise. And her name is Stella. And it's really cool just to come around and see all the different animals. Um, I also got some animal trading cards, which is super cool. I really, I really love having things like these. But yeah, it's super cool to come check out some of the zoo stuff. Hedgehogs. We found hedgehogs, and I'm really excited because I really like hedgehogs and they're adorable. So they have a bunch of hedgehogs like running around on hedgehog wheels, and there's just this little um, hedgehog. Uh, I don't know what to call it. A cage chamber thing. Um, and you can also pet some hedgehogs, and it's super cool. What do you feel like? Um, honestly, they do not feel spiky in any way. They just feel like kind of like a toothbrush, honestly, which I've, I've heard several comparisons that they feel like te teeth brush. Te te uh, toothbrush. I don't know how to say it. Toothbrushes. Toothbrushes. Um, the hedgehog got really startled when I was trying to pet it. What did it do? It was kind of, I don't know, I can't tell if it was sneezing or just being really startled, but it was kind of just jerking a little bit. It was cool. So we're going to be doing a rocket sled now. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it sounds really cool. So yeah, rocket sled. So the rocket sled is this little thing on wheels that you sit in and there are sandbags and due to Newton's third law, I believe, um, which is it, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So when you throw a sandbag, it pushes back on you and since you're on wheels you roll and that's the entire concept behind the rocket sled. You just throw and throw and throw. I don't, um, yeah, it seems pretty fun. They get to go. So we're in the microscope lab now. Um, they have some microscopes. I was just looking at a mushroom store. They also have a dandelion over there and some various other things. Um, I really like looking at microscopes, although sometimes my eyelashes get in the way, which is pretty annoying. What does it look like? Um, it's like oddly shaped. It looks kind of bubbly, almost. It looks like the surface of a mushroom, really. Um, but it's kind of oddly shaped. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool to look at this kind of stuff. Okay, so up here they have a bunch of telescopes, and we were a bit confused since it's the middle of the day, what are we looking at? Um, but actually, um, there's a really cool solar prominence going on right now, which is kind of like a solar flare, but it lasts longer. And there's a bunch of solar filters on all the telescopes, um, so you can look around and see how the solar prominence in action, and it's super duper cool to look at. Um, I definitely really like astronomy, it's really cool. So, so what happens if you take the solar filters off, and it's not very pretty. <laughs> So there's this uh, really cool, here, there's an ambulance outside that you can go in and they have like a little, um, I don't know what they're called, like a paramedic dummy outside that you can play with. It's, it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, I always love seeing these. I've seen a couple of them at different places, but they're pretty cool. So if we had somebody and they weren't breathing, when we get there, there's a lot of things we do. And I have, see this right here? I have a large one like this. And I want everybody to look, if you can see in there, there's a light. Can you see that? There's a light in there? If you turn it this way, you can see there's a light. And what that light is for is because it's dark in there. Now we have them as big as this. We have another one. Look how big this one is compared to the other ones. Look how big that one is. And then look at this one. I got this little weeny, 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 weeny one. And these are for the little people, okay? And what we use this for is if we ever have to go into that light, go inside their throat. So I'm going to show you the adult one, okay? So what we do is we take this. We go down there. If something is stuck in there that they they swallowed they shouldn't have, I can take this, it goes down in there, goes all the way down, we grab whatever it is and we bring mm, it back out. Okay? Awesome. I also have one that's a little bit smaller, does the same thing. You just gotta know where you're at. And this one will be on a smaller blade, still does the same thing, grabs it and pulls it out. If the person is throwing up, what's gonna happen is we it goes we get all that out, okay? Then what we do is we actually have a tube. Where's my tube? We have a tube. See how small it is? Everybody see how small that one is right there? And then I have one all the way up to this big one like this. 
and what happens is this goes in and then again this slides down in there and this is going to help somebody breathe that's not able to breathe okay so if you ever see us go you know, like to uh to well, let's say somebody's house and you see us running in you're usually going to see us with this red bag that's the one we carry on all of our calls but if you see us with the blue one which is over there that is where all this airway things are at. That's usually when it's a little bit more serious. You're just gonna okay. put your hands there, turn it this way, a little easier for you. And you're ready and go. There you go. There, I don't have to work on Monday. That's called recruiting. Yes, it is. Delegating. I'm old enough to drive, so I'll drive. Y'all take care of the rest of it. Is that okay? Y'all can do that for me? And so she's helping his heart? Yes. So what she's doing right here, she's going to make sure the heart is pumping, moving blood around. And then what he's doing is, because that person's not breathing, what he's going to do, and let me show you, he's going to help them breathe. So you're going to take your hand like, let me see your hand like this. You have small hands. And you can push just like that. Now, believe it or not, children, of course, because they're young, they don't know all the complications or whatever. They could do CPR just like anyone else. She could actually, and if you notice, look how far she's pushing. I just want you to see something. I'm gonna put your hand about right here. Now push down as far as you can. Now on a human's chest is gonna be a lot deeper, but the depth, let me show you now. Let me show you how well you're doing this. The depth I would want somebody is like this. Now you compare that to how deep she's pushing. It might not be squeezing the heart like this. It might be like this, but what are we doing? We're circulating the blood around through the body. They can do that. That's why children are able to do that. They just did this really cool um, demonstration. They have a little ambulance out there, um, and um, it's like one of my favorite things because it's like a really funny demonstration and it makes sense to the kids, um, and it's all hands on and everything. And it was really, really great. Um, it was it's a CPR demonstration. It was definitely really, really cool, and uh, yeah, I definitely really, really enjoyed it. It was super great, and um, if anyone, if they do this again in another one, check it out. It's super duper nice. So we did a bunch of stuff, but we couldn't shoot some of it because it was too dark or too crowded. But it's still really cool. Um, it gives you a good taste of what happens here. Um, if they do something like this again next year, definitely come. It was a really great experience to have, and no matter if you're going to this or any sort of big science event, they're always a really, really great thing to go to, and they're a great experience to have. And this one was run by Cool Science, and you should definitely check them out and see what they have to do. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.